Well, hey, Taurus, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what we have for you guys today. You already know this is going to be love or whatever that comes out, right? <laughs> All of the above. All right, so this is going to be for Taurus. Okay, guys are anxious. <clears throat> this is for Taurus. See that judgment card tried to pop out. So we definitely see that there is someone from your past wanting to come back in here for a few of you. And for others, this is making a decision on something that you guys have or that you basically have been um, indecisive about. Hmm. There is an unexpected message coming here with the tower. And right afterward, it is the... It is the uh, Knight of Cups. For some of you, this is you releasing the past, okay? I am gonna tell you that. This is not just someone from your past. This is releasing the past because even if they come back in or if they have already came in, you're going to be more so moving forward and there's someone else that's wanting you. So I do feel like there's somebody unexpected. This is like a surprise, like, oh, hey, and it's someone serious here with the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is someone that you know, but maybe you haven't been with, um, you know, and it's been a long time since you talked to that person. Okay. But there is, there is definitely a surprise here, but I mean, it could be your past for some, but I, I do feel like for a lot of you, this is releasing the past. Okay. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of endings here. We have the tower. We have the death card. There's some endings. Now this is future. And I feel like it has something to do over secrets, okay? Something you're going to find out. <clears throat> you intuitively are going to know that something is wrong because, you know, they're spying here. So you may find something out through, you know, someone's conversation. It could be through social media. Something that's hidden is going to be found out. And you may be very surprised about what that is. So let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is for Taurus. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, your past is watching you. Ooh, your past is coming back in here. <laughs> this is going to shock the hell out of you because it's, it's not going to come right away for some. For others, I feel like... This may have just happened and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, like the past just like shocked the hell out of you. But I do see for a lot of you, this is faded, something faded to happen totally here. Now it, to me, I'm going to tell you, it's not meant to last. I know, I know it's not meant to last. I feel like this is going to be the, uh, the past to come back in and there's still going to be some nonsense. Like I said, even here with this high priestess. I feel like there's still going to be secrets, but it is to close out a cycle. That's what I'm saying. Because a lot of you are still wanting your past, missing your past. You hate the fact that you're not seeing them. This is for Taurus. Mm -hmm. The lover's card tried to come out. <clears throat> yeah, new love. Unforeseen love. You don't know who this new love is. And I love the fact that at the bottom of the deck was the magician. So you are attracting new love. Your confidence is, is building up, that type of thing. It's going to be a whole new day for you. That's what it looks like. This is a whole new day. And like I said, we saw that Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And look at what's here. Someone coming in offering love. Someone who wants a commitment. Someone who wants something serious. That is what I'm seeing. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So faded events looks like, you know, there is going to be an unexpected phone call message or somebody showing up at your house, truly. Um, someone that you were with, someone that you knew in the past that you were dealing with. But I see a releasing here. I feel like it's just going to be, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to cut up. That's how I feel like they're going to come in and disappoint you. Um, you know, everything will be good, but it's because, you know, you're not going to be able to get this connection to be real. Um, this person is not going to want a, uh, a committed or a commitment. That's what I'm saying. And this is future for most of you. 
Um, and there's going to be new love after that. So you're not losing either way. Let's go ahead. Let's clarify. We're going to start with that page of swords here for Taurus. Page of swords. Yeah. Look at this person watching you down. They are all up in your business. And so to me, I feel like this is through social media. Yeah. World. So a lot of you are intentionally posting to be seen, trying to look sexy. Look at you. I see y'all. Um, so I do see that this person is just eyeing you. They're like, ooh, Taurus is looking good. Okay. So this is what's really drawing them um, to you. Sexy, sexiness. Okay. So like I said, we saw the world card, which talks about cycles, but it's unfinished business. This is what this person is feeling. Let's get the tower. Mm, yeah. So because there has been some issues and a lot of you are going to be dating um, more than one person or somebody else is going to be in your life, you're going to choose the person that's going to be serious here with the Knight of Pentacles. You're, you're just going to do it. <clears throat> um, and you're also releasing it because you're tired of holding on to hope, tired of holding on to someone who uh, don't know what the hell they want to do. And to me, I feel like this looks like they're going to miss their opportunity because they're too busy dilly dallying, playing games, you know, you know, being slow. OK, and they're going to miss their opportunity here with you. That's what I'm saying. OK, you're all about that grounded life. And I feel like this person can miss their opportunity with you. Let's get the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Look at this. Seven of Wands. There's somebody coming in here. Look at how uh, uh, guarded you are. <laughs> You're kind of like, oh no, stay back, right? This person is like really like trying to come towards you. Like here with the Seven of Wands, this is determination. They want to show you that, you know, they're that here with the Ten of Pentacles, like, you know, I want commitment with you. But again, you know, you're still trying to get over what has happened. Look at you all tired. This is like that. I heard that panty noise from dolls, right? Not that you're dolls, you know what I mean? But just in general, when you're just tired, like, <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm seeing. And so, you know, even though someone else is interested, I do feel like you have to protect yourself. You're a little standoffish towards this new person. Let's get the high, the high priestess. For a lot of you that are in... Um, in a, in a, let's say in a coupling, if you are with someone right now, you're at a crossroad, okay, between two different lovers. I feel like you love one over the other and you're going to make a decision. You're going to have to make a decision. I talked about that earlier here. Uh, for the singles, you're going to have to make a decision to move forward and not deal with this past person that's keep coming in here. And for others, you're in a connection. You're at a crossroad. Um, it's not working out. You know, your person may not open up emotionally. It's that type of thing. And you just you just want to move forward. For some of you, you are going to move forward and take new love. Let's get the sun card here for you, Taurus. Sun card for Taurus. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, this is enlightenment here. Look at that with the hangman. Ooh, somebody is realizing something here with the seven of swords. See, at first, this person was in denial. This is what it was about. This person who's been in denial and then now all of a sudden, hey, <laughs> this person is realizing something here. Like, wait, 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 where is Taurus going? And this could be the change. See here with the, the faded card, this could be faded change with the same person. A different, per, uh, same person, but different energies, which can totally look like, a, look like a, and feel like a new person. For some of you, this is totally a new person. But for a lot of you, this is somebody who is like, wait a minute, I can't, I don't want you out of my life. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, look at this. This person is using their intuition. They're hurting just like how you're hurting, to be honest with you. And they know they have to, you know, they're weighing, it, weighing, weighing their options. And you're going to be doing that too. Like I said, when this person comes back in here, you're going to be wondering, like, is this going to be right? Is this going to be practical? It has to be different. But I don't know if I can trust you. That's what you're saying. Let's get the high, higher fence. Oh, yeah. This is, the, this is the person that used to be a player. Ain't that about something? This is the person who used to be a player who now wants commitment. Ain't that about something? This is a divine couple too. 
Wow, this is why this person is coming back in here. And I've said this before, but it's constantly coming out now. Let's get the Ace of Cups. Oh yeah, this person is watching you. You also have a secret admirer. You have more than one person that's watching you. Oof. Y'all have some decisions here, y'all. <clears throat> Let's see how this player is feeling. Let's get their energy. Let's see how this, this person is feeling. They can't let you go. Ooh-wee. And it's hard for them to open up. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, they're in love with you. <clears throat> they're in love with you. And they're unhappy. But the thing is, like I said, it's, you know, they're emotionally unbalanced at this point. Like, they love you. But at the same time, I just feel like that maybe they can't trust themselves. But this person really is feeling you. They're going to try here. They're going to try. And it's going to be up to you because, you know, this is a general reading. Like if this was personal, I'll be able to tell you. But you can see two different circumstances, two different, a whole bunch of different situations here, or, or at least two, um, where love is here. And it's going to be up to you who you want, who you want to deal with. But for a lot of you, this, this night is serious now. Okay. Now, if you are in a relationship, like I said before, if you're in a relationship, you're at a crossroad because there has been some... There has been infidelity or someone who hasn't been serious and the relationship just don't have no depth. So someone is stepping out. It could be you or your person. And there's new love coming up on the horizon. That's what I'm saying. But this is what I have for you, Taurus. You will have a part two, okay? So whenever I post this, whatever day I post this, um, it'll be up at night. So just look out for that. Um, but this is what I have for you. And if you're interested in a um, reading, all the information is in the description box with the uh, email. All right, Taurus, I'll see you later.